Shalom, Makim. Uh, first off, I just want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Just want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and just want to say Shalom to all the sincere brothers that's out there laboring in the faith, putting the word up in truth and sincerity. Uh, I just want to bring out uh, just a few precepts, you know what I'm saying, just going to a real milk topic. But furthermore, I believe it's important because we in a very uh, maternalistic society where you know, the man gets trump gets trumped on for the most part, and the woman, you know what I'm saying, being out of order gets exalted, you know, in Esau's kingdom, the so-called white man's kingdom. So I just want to just put everything back in perspective, hopefully for brothers who may be new coming into the faith, you know, just to have more insight on this topic, you know what I'm saying? Like everything is, is from, from, from man. That's the point of the day, you know what I'm saying? Women, you know what I'm saying, they have their due order uh within, you know what I'm saying, the, the the circle of life, but everything starts at the at the at the seed of a man. And I'm gonna I'm gonna just prove that through a few through a few basic scriptures here. The first one uh is in Wisdom of Solomon, the seventh chapter. I'll just start at uh I'll start at uh two. Matter of fact, I'll start at one. It says, I myself also am a mortal man, like to all in the offspring of him that was first made of the earth you know what i'm saying and that's talking about uh adam you know what i'm saying and it says in the offspring of him not her that was first that was first made of the earth so right here in this first uh verse is showing you that everything begins uh with 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 man you know verse two it says and in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months being compacted in blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep. So that's the that's the point in verse two, you know what I'm saying? Of the seed of man. That that's how every uh you know mortal man comes into the earth. You know what I'm saying? Of course, a woman is an incubator, she nourishes the seed, you know what I'm saying? She her body is made to carry that seed, but at the end of the day, the seed is that seed. Whatever that uh, person, whatever that flesh that's born, you know what I'm saying, its origin all goes back to that seed. You know what I'm saying? And only a father or a man can carry a seed. But I'm going to just get uh, another one in uh, Numbers, the first chapter, I think it's verse 18. Numbers 1 and 18, it says, And they assembled all the congregation on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. So even, you know what I'm saying, Israel, you know, the nation of Israel just throughout, you know, time and time again, we always knew the establishment of our nation. It all began with the men, with the fathers. And that's the reason that I'm saying that everything begins with the seed, with the male, you know what I'm saying? The woman, she has her part, but the man, everything begins with the man at the end of the day. And that's why, uh, like, the, 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 the Gentiles uh, break down the, the, the New Testament Gentiles that Paul was going preaching to. That's such a stumbling block because the, the prophecy uh, says that the seed of Israel will be scattered among all nations. But the thing is, we all know that the seed comes from the man, so it doesn't matter what the woman looks like. You know what I'm saying? That person is, whatever their nationality is, is based on the seed of their father. You know? Because I know a lot of those, well, I know those Jews, those so-called Jews, you know, they go by maternal lineage. They basically determine their so-called nationality by, the, uh, by, by their mother's line. When that's according to the Bible, that's totally off, you know. But I'm going to get this too. It says, and this is concerning our Savior, Yahweh Shah. This is Romans chapter 1, verse 3. It says, concerning his son, Yahweh Shah, Hamashiach, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh. So here's an example right here. Our Savior, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Him being born in the flesh he came from the seed of man and then i wanted to get that word seed in the greek right there in romans uh one and three when you go into the blue letter bible 
Uh, it's uh, the Strong's G1138 or Salaki. It's Strong's G4690. It says, I'm going to just pull it up. It says sperma. You know what I'm saying? It says sperma from which a plant germates and is, is defining, you know what I'm saying, the seed, the grain, or kernel which contains within itself germ of the future plants. So a, a plant or a farmer plant seed, and it pretty much broke the word seed down. It means sperm. And who produces sperm? A man. You know, even though we're in a bugged out, demonic uh, society run by Satan, they might have women that can somehow produce sperm, but... The point that I'm getting into, the, the way that the Most High set it up, you know, the, the seed or the sperm, it, it comes from a man. Like everything is established as far as uh, humanity from the seed of men. Now, that's not to say like any person, they may not take on certain characteristics and certain traits of their mother who carried the seed. But at the end of the day, the seed is the seed, you know. Your nationality is determined by the seed of your father. Uh, but I'm going to get this one. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11 and 9. It says, uh, uh, 2 Corinthians 11 and 8. It says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. You know what I'm saying? That's the point I wanted to get. I'll read it again. 1 Corinthians 11 and 8. It says, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. So out of the sperm or out of the seed, out of the sperm of men, a man is able uh, to have it to where a male or a female child uh, is produced unto the earth. So women, they come from the seed of men as, as well. Because even in the, the, the so-called white man science, you know, they have what's called X and Y chromosomes. You know what I'm saying? And it just so happens that the man, the male, the seed, the sperma, it, it, it carries both of those chromosomes, the X and the Y. Whereas the women, she only carries the X. So that shows that it's spiritual, man. You know, like the Bible would constantly always hold true to, to all superior knowledge that is so-called on the earth. Uh, let's see. I have another one here. But I think that was the point I wanted to get into. Uh, you know, just real uh, basic topic. Uh, the, the seed uh, comes from the man or the sperma. And that's how uh, life is sown on the earth. That's how you establish humanity. And that's how you determine nationality ultimately. You know what I'm saying? And even going into the Gentile breakdown, which that's a, you know, a different breakdown for a different time. But that's how you would get the understanding of that by understanding this simple concept. In the fact that the Most High establishes nations and determines nationality by the seed of men. It doesn't matter what your mother looks like or who your mother is for that example. And that's not to say that women don't have a prospective role and order within any society. But the Most High set up men, you know what I'm saying, to, to be the patriarchs and the head of society. We're not supposed to be in a, a, a matriarchal society. And that's further war, uh, furthermore why the, the, why the Most High has the most devastating destruction prepared for, for Great Babylon, which is America. Because, you know, the scriptures talk about the, the, the turning of things upside down. That's where we are right now. So with that, you know what I'm saying, hopefully this was edifying the brothers, you know what I'm saying. It's just some basic things I think it's important, like I said, to go into some of these things, especially at the stage that we're in. So... I just want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to you brothers that's sincerely fighting for this truth. Shalom.